All right, this next guest, a goaltender, stands six foot three, one hundred ninety four pounds. He's born two thousand and three. Let's hear it for the fantastic starting goaltender for the Amherstburg Admirals, Joshua Courtney. Josh, how are you doing today, buddy? Oh, I'm doing good, man. How are you? Fantastic, thank you. How's things with the Addies? Um, so you know things have been going good, um, especially with the like the second half of the season starting. Mm-hmm. We uh, definitely we're, we're starting off pretty hot. I feel like we've been in a few like close games, got a couple wins out, so I feel like we're doing good right now. Mm-hmm. Right on, man. You guys gave. I was, I was going to say we were there. What what was it, Tristan? Last Sunday night we were at the yes game against the uh, Yeah. There last sunday and like to me like you guys look good that night man you guys were fucking flying around you guys moved moved around nice your goalie made some nice saves you guys got some nice goals like it was it was honestly it was just a really good game to watch i like i like the hitting too like how everybody finished their hits it was a very physical game so that was kind of nice too to see but man you guys are looking good right now yeah i know uh thank you um yeah, no, I agree, though. I was sitting on the sideline for that. I was injured. But, um, no, I agree. It was a close game, good battles. And then, uh, obviously, we didn't get the win or brought OT, but uh, it was definitely a good game for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know what? I'll think I, – I really think that Essex got lucky there uh, because not only of the fact that they scored a goal, like, really late in the game – but and it was a really greasy goal too. But the fact that there was a, a stop and play, I think that gave a lot of momentum, took the air rate out of the tires for Amherstburg because they had a lot of momentum. They had gotten mm-hmm. the tying goal. They were putting a lot of pepper on Essex's goalie, uh, McBride. And, you know, Essex got lucky. But props to you guys. You got uh, Berkey, Raiden. He's been very good for you guys. And you know what? Good luck to you guys in the playoffs. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good run down here in the stretch. Uh, I, but going back to the start of your career, I mean, I just want to know, talk about like minor hockey, who got you into hockey, like all that, give it, give us the run through at the start of your hockey endeavors. Yeah. So I probably started when I was maybe six, Amherstburg boy, just born and raised here. So I didn't want to venture off to like Windsor to play AAA or anything. So I just stuck with, uh, just single A travel and, then, um, that was about it for goaltending though. I went from goaltending to trying it and I went back to player. I didn't like it. And I went back to goaltending again and I loved it. And then yeah, I've been playing since. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I know. What made you want to be a goalie full time though? I'm like, man, didn't you know people shoot the puck at you? Like, I don't like, why the hell would you want to do that, man? The goalies are crazy. Um, I think that was a part of it, the crazy part, but um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. There's just the feeling of there's only one of you on the ice. You can save the puck, and it could be just the most, the, the hardest save to make, but it keeps the team in the game. And there's a lot of pressure on it, but um, just a good feeling to have, just knowing that uh, the team can rely on you, but they also trust you. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy that like being a goaltender, what what does it feel like like the atmosphere? I always see like goalies, they'll get razzed a lot, right? Guys are banging on the glass. And <laughs> my cousin uh Brochu, Brett, he plays for the London Knights. And I, I haven't had the opportunity to ask him this question. So I'll ask you, like, how is how important is keeping your mental focus in the game and talk about what you do to keep that focus? Um Oh, well, so it's, uh, I think it's probably the most important game in any goalie. You have to be mentally and emotionally just calm, just everything. Usually, especially if you're playing in a game, you don't hear or see, like, just besides the puck and then what's around you, nothing really, like, gets by you. I remember uh, last season when uh, we played Wheatley and got swept four straight, their, uh, their fans... Their fans are uh, pretty crazy out there. They'll have chants going, just screaming like "Goalie, you suck" or something like that. So, <laughs> just I think it's the goalie. Just if you're mentally sound, I think it's like ninety percent of the game. Mm-hmm. 
so so once once you're like locked in do you even like do you even hear anything or are you just because i've played i think it was hardball and i played in front of some like nice sized crowds where it was kind of the same thing and to me like when i was playing i didn't hear any of that did like are you the same yeah it's the exact same way it's just you on the ice and then you hear nothing and then again it's just whatever's on the ice that's what you're focused on Mm -hmm. And then you just rob a guy on their team and then just look up at him like, yeah, suck on that. eh?" (laughs) Uh, I I don't do that, surprisingly. Uh, Just got to keep it nonchalant. Just keep it simple. Just make the save and then just keep playing. You have to think it at least. Oh, definitely. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. (laughs) That's better. (laughs) Yeah, well, you know what? Josh, talk a bit about what what you've had to do this year and, and how you've been able to like keep above a 900 save percentage. Like you're at a 904 right now, mm-hmm. which is great considering and no offense to the team or anything, but you guys near the start, you struggled a bit defensively and you kept those guys in games. Like talk about what it's been like uh, having to make those key saves on a team that's maybe lacking a bit defensively. Um, Well, it's, <laughs> it's definitely uh tough, obviously, you know that your defense will lack, but that's fine. Again, you can't blame teammates or anything. Right. Um, but no, when you're facing like 40 plus shots, it's kind of important for you to at least keep the boys in at least somewhat close, mm-hmm. you know, give them a shot. And again, they'll also help you out whenever you need it. Mm-hmm. One, one of the games too, where I, where you like really stood out to me was when, you played here in town and in like Essex versus the threes. And I think you guys lost like four or five, nothing that night, but you had to have had oh. 50, 60 shots. Like and oh. I was, I talked to, I think it was, I think it was your old man. I was talking to your old man there and I was, I told him, I'm like, Josh is fucking playing good. I'm, but I'm, it was just like, you faced so many shots that night. You made some incredible saves that night too. And for a yeah. long time, for a long time the game was close it only got like they popped a few at the end but for the most part the game was close and you held them in it man yeah it's important you just got to make those saves i mean obviously essex is such a high just intensity team shots are coming in left and right and especially with high opportunity chances they always have a high back door or something open mm-hmm. but uh yeah, I know. I remember that game definitely. That was probably one of my better performances. But uh, yeah, no. In your like sleep, you're like making saves. You get in your sleep, there's just so many fucking shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who would you say, Josh, um, is your maybe not your hockey idol, but someone that you pattern your game after being a goaltender? Um. Never really thought about that. Gonna lie. Um. Well, Vasilevsky, he's been mm-hmm. he's a he's so good. Yeah. So also with him being, I think, I think he's six four, I think, or yeah. something. He, but no, he's been so good, and I don't know. Just watching his game, that's where um I learned about uh, wrapping my leg around the post because obviously as a bigger goalie, you don't need to t- you can take up more than that. So right. Mm-hmm. Take a lot of him. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys are pretty comparable in weight too. So that's that's an awesome uh <laughs> that's an awesome idol to look like. Do you watch uh film? Like with with who's your goaltending coach? Uh Matt Anthony. He's the okay. Flyers goalie coach. So awesome. Right on. Right yeah. on. And what how important has he been to your development with the fly or the uh Addies? Um he's it's been huge, uh, especially cuz I didn't have much experience as well. So with the team they took me on as I think I played house league before I joined that team. So having uh, Matt Anthony as my goalie coach, I got to learn a lot from him as well as my old goalie partner, Nick Bolton, because he's also one of the best goalies, I think, in the league. Yep. Agreed. Mm-hmm. De- uh, definitely taking a lot of just watching and just just thinking about just different parts of the game that I want to contribute to mine. Just been working on it. Good for you, man. So you went from, from like house league right into junior C. Uh, my last season before the COVID year, yeah. 
That's crazy though. I mean, that's a big jump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it was a, uh, it was a crazy story. Um, Cause obviously with COVID everything, just everything like stupid and just, mm -hmm. so uh, I, seen a post like a post that came up for uh the addies uh like skates and i was like might as well do it just for experience you know mm -hmm. shots are there which are completely different way harder better precision and just better shots overall and um i think i did i did decently in the camp i uh there was a lot of scrimmages so no not much help there but like defensively so just you're getting plastered with shots <laughs> But uh, <laughs> they took me on as AP for like two or three months, and then they uh, called me in after practice, and then they asked if I wanted to sign. Beautiful. How did that feel? I uh, I didn't know what to think at first because I I didn't even think I was gonna find an AP spot. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, they just I think they just banked on me, and then just hoped I would perform well, and then yeah. Good for you, man. That's that's incredible to be able to to go from house league and then with COVID, you kind of you wonder if you're gonna get to play junior hockey, right? At yeah. all, because that's your shot, right? That year you were kind of looking to make that jump, and then now all of a sudden you're looking at you're getting the majority of the starts in Amherstburg. That's yeah. good for you. Like I I I sincerely wish you guys luck in playoffs because I first round you guys what would it be Moretown as of right now? uh wheatley again we'll have wheatley, wheatley. back because it's huh. six so that'd be uh that's the team i would want especially for first uh first round get get revenge for last season right on that would be a good that would be a battle of the goaltenders hey aunt they got ethan hanley over there oh uh, yeah you know ethan no i've i've heard of him though he's uh everyone calls him squid pretty good player but uh yeah. i i hope that's gonna be uh I hope that's the matchup and it stays that way. I, I want to see you guys get revenge. I actually went and watched some of those Wheatley games in the in their barn over there, and you're you're right. It's crazy in there. It's yeah. only only one half of the arena gets filled, but man, do they they throw fish on the ice and it's <laughs> really crazy stuff. Oh yeah, oh, threw on brooms when we got swept. I remember that as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the oh, joys. You know of, what? But the joys of junior hockey. Last oh, yeah. year. I think you guys are a lot more complete this year, you know? Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Princey on D. He's good, yeah. eh? Oh, I, yeah. I love watching him play. No, Princey's, how how uh, has he been for you? Um, Well, he's been <laughs> he's been up for quite a bit. <laughs> and, oh. uh, just suspensions and stuff. But, uh, no, uh, him as a defenseman, he's really good. We picked up a couple of good forwards and D-man as well. Like, we are, I think our team fully around is good. I think it's just because it's all new players, so they're all 05s, 06s, so it's just a learning experience right now, but I think we're starting to gel, which is good. Right on. And do you want to, obviously, I don't want to put you on the spot, but going forward, do you anticipate staying with Amherstburg until your uh, junior career basically expires, yeah? Oh, yeah, definitely. Hometown right boy. Oh, yeah, just stay yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Hey, how do you shoot the puck, Josh? Do you Do you, like, shoot it good? Uh, yeah. You ever I, try I, to shoot for a goal? Uh, I haven't had a chance yet. You're gonna when you get a chance, though, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. The time's can right. You, so, so you can shoot it high enough to get it like over everybody. Yeah, I've gone a penalty for firing over the glass once. Oh, <laughs> I, get that, I have a decent shot. I can't even think. Have you ever heard of anybody scoring a goal in junior C around here, goalie? Uh, I think Brett did it years ago. How how long ago though? Like roughly, it doesn't have twenty seventeen or eighteen okay. for Dresden. Really, I want to say he did. Oh, yeah, good. yeah. Huh. But oh. anyway, that's that's aside from the it. point. I, I I do want to ask, uh, what was the feeling like uh, this year picking up your first junior shutout? Talk about that. Um, that game was uh, I wasn't really tested that game. Um, I remember uh, it was like. Two minutes left, and uh, Jaden Brown, my one defensive teammate, um, he uh, coughed with the puck on the blue line, and uh, the guy came down breakaway. And I was like, here we go. This, this is it. And I got the stop, and then I remember just talking to Brownie after. I'm like, he almost threw that, man. But, you know, <laughs> so I got the save. 
at least made me earn it, which is good. But uh, no, it was definitely uh, definitely needed. It was definitely good for confidence as well. You know, first shutout, it's always a good feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats, by the way. Happy yeah, to thanks. see you. That that helped out the stats, eh? Oh yeah. Right on. <laughs> Hey, hardest shot you ever faced? Who was it? Uh, on the team right now, probably Kyle Blow. <laughs> but uh, Kyle Blow's a truck. Blow kidding? train. That that his shot's good, but um, probably uh, on Essex Hamlin. Yeah, he had a one T that was uh, it was in it was in Essex. He had a one T back door, and it was a cannon of a shot. Mm-hmm. hammer yeah hammer's he got i mean don't don't feel bad the guy is a walking uh he's built like a fire hydrant like <laughs> he's he's very ripped man and uh he knows that himself and he's he's got a hard shot and fast skater but uh who would you say is a goaltender that's underrated in the league someone you watch and maybe he's on a team that's not as high in the standings other than yourself of course uh but Someone who's like maybe you know doesn't get enough recognition. Um, I'm gonna have to say I was talking about this with my one buddy, probably Ty Golden. Yeah. On uh, on Dresden, right? I believe yeah. He's on Dresden. Yeah. He um, I was because I was sitting out as well. As I was injured recently, so watching him play, his just his footwork and his how quick he is. He's just it was it was good to watch. He was a he's definitely a good goalie for sure. Right on. Hey, do you have any uh any like freaking pregame like meals or like rituals that you have? Um, yeah, got a few of them. They feel normal though, so it's <laughs> like it sounds normal to me, but it's definitely weird to other people. But uh for meal, definitely pasta. It's usually gnocchi like a chicken. Just got a lot of protein and a lot of carbs. Mm-hmm. And then just load up. Usually I do that at three thirty precisely. <laughs> Very precise with everything, and then um, always show up to the rink thirty minutes before everyone else. I leave the dressing room to do warm ups before everyone gets there, and then I show up when everyone's out for warm ups. Usually it's just very I keep to myself a lot for games. Mm-hmm. Mm. Big Quiet mental guy. focus, like you were saying, eh? Yeah. Now I'm curious when it comes to off ice training. What do you do? Do you do any like any eye tracking or what do you do for like footwork and as it pertains to reflex training? Uh, reflex training. I have, um, I usually use just a lot of ball work just between just like quick, just release off the wall and then just catching it. But I also have a reaction ball as well. So it's an unpredictable bounce. So it just makes you go, you don't know where it's going and you have to be good with it. Uh, and then just a lot of stretches. I feel like as a goalie, you're using your lower body a lot of the game and definitely don't want to get injured as I did because I didn't stretch and definitely cost me. Mm. Yeah. Hey, so being one of the hometown boys, how nice did it feel to slide on that jersey for the first time, though? Uh, it was definitely an honor. You know, I wouldn't think I'd be playing junior C hockey and especially for my hometown. So putting that jersey on and just seeing just – all the crowd, all being Amherstburg, it's just, it was an unreal feeling. Definitely just, it was an honor for sure. Mm -hmm. Right on. I'm curious, Josh, uh, you wings guy. Oh yeah. 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 Right on. Right on. Uh, who's your, who's your favorite player on the wings this year? This year? Um, Raymond. Oh no. Uh, probably, uh, how do you, a cedar cider? I don't know how cider. You, yeah, cider. Yeah, yeah. guys, right on. no one can knock him. Down. It's a, it's funny to watch. Not gonna lie. Mm. Yeah, he right does. That guy kills people. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, going forward, what do you think you guys have to do to win in the playoffs? Um. Again, going off the start of the season, it was uh, I think everyone was just getting frustrated at ourselves with each other, and uh, which I think we've gone a lot better at, which is why wins are being contributed. Hmm. But uh, I think if we continue finishing checks, because uh, 
I think that's just important for us as a team. So that and just not getting down ourselves because if we give up a goal, we just, it seems like we get rattled almost. Mm. So we can um we just just let it happen and just keep playing our game. I feel like we can make it pretty far in playoffs. Mm. Yeah. Who's who's that one leader in the room? Maybe if things are starting to go a little sideways during the game, who's that one guy that's just kind of like, hey guys, just relax here, play our game, finish our hits, and everything else will just will just fall into place. Like, who's that one guy? Um, it'd probably be Derek Produsco, our uh, Vipers uh, D man we picked up. He's uh, he's usually the calm tone, just keep the boys just just chilled out, you know. If, we're losing by a goal or two he'll just make sure that we're all just level-headed and make sure that we're good to go and then we're ready to go for that next period mm-hmm. beautiful right on so <laughs> what would you say is your favorite memory so far or maybe your favorite game you've played in uh in your junior c career um it would probably be my second shutout yeah i was both my shots were against wallaceburg but my second one was on 42 shots, I believe. Good for you, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Talk no, about it. Um, so it was a normal game. It's just, you know. And then um, the second period, penalty after penalty, we had, I think, we were on the kill for 16 minutes of the 20. Yeah. No, people would come in the box, take another penalty, they're back in. And it was, it was definitely period but um made for uh, definitely a great definitely a great game mm-hmm. that's crazy. that's a lot of yeah. time on the penalty kill <laughs> that would suck gas after that second period oh i can, I can only, only imagine yeah, 40 you got plus about, shots yeah. and he got about probably a lot of them in that second period yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man 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 um Shit, I was going to ask you something, and I forgot. It was a good question, too. Right in my head, I forgot. Tristan, go ahead. I'm fucking... All right, yeah. So, one. so <laughs> it's all good. I I, I do want to ask you, Josh, Um, what do you feel is your greatest strength as a goaltender? Is it your blocker, your pads, your just your positioning, your glove? Talk about that a bit. Um, On the ice, I believe it's just my positioning. My positioning is usually... As a big goalie, it's the most important. You're not as quick, mm-hmm. but as long as you're with the angle, you usually take out the whole net. But um, honestly, I think my greatest is probably just mental, just focus. It's obviously every goalie has it, but um, some goalies get rattled pretty quickly, and I just feel like that's probably one of my better strengths, just confidence and just mentality. Mm-hmm. Good for you, man. Yeah, you seem like a very calm mannered guy. I commend you on that. You're very like lay it low, take it easy. And uh I'm sure that not is isn't just in hockey, but it probably spends to the rest of your life, right? People see you as a calm dude, yeah. Yeah, I don't don't talk much normally, so mm-hmm. right on. <laughs> Who do you like hang out with most off the ice from the squad? Uh on the team? Yeah. Uh uh-huh. that's a good question. I'd probably say it's probably my stall partner, uh, Jaden Brown, as well. Me and him just, I don't know. I think we have the best, like, bonding experience as a as teammates and just, I don't know. He's a good guy to hang around with. Just, he's always, he's always happy, you know. He's just funny, you know. What So, what about everyone? Do you guys hang out as a squad, like, away from the, like, rink? Do you guys do outings? Like, what do you guys do? Uh, Yeah, we do. We usually do just team get togethers we used to always go to shooters as uh, because mm-hmm. they used to be i think they still are but we don't go there anymore oh mm-hmm. uh, no we'll just go to different people's houses and just, just have a good time you know fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> keep it easy <laughs> so uh big shout out uh to him i i know you're good buddies with him but ethan hill yeah uh, as well uh he wants to get on the show which we will honor that request mm. but uh yeah i just i just wanted to give him the little shout out there talk about what it's what it's been like being an admiral and maybe maybe you guys aren't necessarily the best in the league but what what do you feel you have to do to garner the respect of other teams like just 
is it is it a mentality thing or is it more seen in your play that teams will kind of see you guys as a threat regardless of the standings? Um, I think it's more of a on ice just I think it's more of a boring thing. I don't think our plus minus is too good mm. as start of the season. But uh no, I feel like if we generate more offense and become more of a like scoring threat, I feel like it would earn a lot more respect from the teams. Again, especially with that Essex game, I feel like that was a close game throughout. And I feel like, honestly, any team can win at any day. I think Dresden just beat Blenheim in OT. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, I just – anything can happen in this league. It's – there's obviously, there's the top teams that are just – they're just recognized, Lakeshore, Essex. But besides that, I think every team has a shot at any given day. Mm-hmm. 100%. Hey, how's my boy Foxy doing there? I know he looks after you guys pretty good, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. No, he's uh he's doing good. He always comes up to me before games, just talks to me, just see how I'm feeling, and just different stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's doing good though. Yeah, Maddie's a beauty. Oh yeah. What do you uh What do you do for work? Or are you in school for anything right now? Talk a bit about that. Talk about your life outside of hockey. Um. Well, right now I'm doing uh architecture at st Clair, and then i'm just working at a restaurant as a cook nice but you know i'm looking to get a different job soon though <laughs> right on what do you want to do with the architecture uh well i was originally at the u of windsor for um civil engineering mm-hmm. so i did a big math physics background but i switched over to architecture because of the creativity side so i want to hopefully get into an engineering firm and be an architect at some point, you know, they make pretty good money. So that's what I'm looking forward to at least. Make that coin. Oh yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Um, I'm tapped Tristan. If you're, if you have anything else you got to ask him, buddy, go ahead. Well, I'll, I'll ask you one more question. Yeah. Uh, Who got you into hockey? Um, I think it was more of my dad just forcing me to try it. Okay. I think, um, I think I just felt that just was skating. It just uh, now something about it felt good, and then my uh, my first ever coach, he was the one that put the goalie pads on me, and then just fell in love with the game ever since then. Mm-hmm. That's awesome, and it was worth it, right? Being forced oh. out there. Oh, definitely. One more right on. Oh yeah, good for you, brother. No, thank you. I love it, Josh. This has been great, man. And it, like, it's been long overdue since we had somebody from out there on here yeah. with us. And we're gonna get more of you guys on here. Like, we feel like we should. Well, we're obviously gonna talk to everybody, but it had just been a little while since we had you guys on. So, thank you, man. Good mm-hmm. luck the rest of the way. We're watching, and I think you guys have to come to town one more time, right? Uh, yeah, we have one. Yeah, we have one more game there. Okay, so right hopefully on. hopefully you're in net and we'll see you then, buddy. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sounds me. like a plan. Thank-